G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I'm going to give you eight fast growing vegetables that you can grow at home in a hurry. Let's get into it. You might ask, what's the use in knowing what vegetables grow fast? Well, you might want to prioritize these crops in your garden in desperate times such as, I don't know, a pandemic? Or you can use this information to simply plan your growing time so you have crops ready to harvest as soon as possible and fill gaps in productivity throughout the growing season or maximize garden space by double sowing in garden beds together with slow maturing crops. Number one, radish. I'll just pick a little seedling here. Radish is known to be one of the world's or the world's most fastest growing crops. The seedlings emerge quicker than you can say social isolation. Mm. Seedlings emerge five to eight days and time to picking is four to six weeks. And what I like about radish is you can get different strengths of flavour depending on the many different varieties you can grow. From quite spicy down to very mild, making it versatile for all palates and dishes. Number two, bok choy or pak choy are a member of a fast growing Chinese family of greens that if you let this go to seed, can spread extremely fast, a bit like something else. Seedlings emerge six to 10 days, time to picking eight to 10 weeks. Pak choy actually means white vegetable, named after the stems, I believe. You can start harvesting the leaves or baby box in half the maturation time for their sweet, crispy goodness in salads or stir fries. Number three is rocket, and it grows like a rocket. It's usually classified as a herb because of its peppery leaves, but I reckon it's more like a, a vegetable type salad crop. Seedlings emerge seven to 10 days, time to picking two to four weeks. I like to crowd grow rocket and harvest the peppery tasting leaves young in as early as two to three weeks before they get too old, chewy and bitter. Number four is loose leaf lettuce. I've got several of them coming up here on the edge of the bed. They've just self seeded. I'll just pick a piece off. These don't have a heart. It's a bit like major corporations. The seedlings emerge six to seven days. You can start harvesting baby leaves within 30 days, but only a few leaves from each plant. So grow about 20 plants for a family of four to get a feed every two to three days. Once they do mature in about 60 days, you can harvest the whole plant or you can cut back a lot harder. Staggering rows of lettuce by sowing them every two to three weeks will give you an extended crop of tender, tasty leaves. Number five, mustard. I've got several of these self-seeded Japanese mustards. They can grow into a huge plant and they're a fantastic quick growing vegetable to grow, but they're not a big favorite because a lot of people find it too pungent. But if it's used sparingly in salads and cooking, it can really lift the flavor overall to another level. Seedlings emerge six to 10 days, time to picking four to six weeks. Again, start picking or harvesting the leaves earlier than that when the plants are young and consider pickling the older stems and using the seeds to make condiments for flavoring foods. Number six, peas. Well, you've heard the saying, like shelling peas, I've just lost one there. Well, peas are really easy to grow. Seedlings emerge seven to 10 days and time to picking is 12 to 14 weeks. The climbing variety of peas take a little bit longer, maybe two more weeks to mature than the dwarf peas. However, they take up less space because they grow higher vertically. For instance, a family of four could make do with one to three meters of growing space for climbing peas, whereas the same family would need around three to five meters of growing space to get an equivalent feed 
of dwarf peas. I know what you're thinking, 14 weeks to maturity is like nearly 100 days. But you don't have to grow peas just for the pods or seeds. The whole pea plant is edible and especially the young leaves or new growth are excellent in salads or stir fries. You can start picking the pea plants after several weeks or when they get about a foot high and this pruning might even stimulate the peas to branch out more and produce a bigger harvest. Number seven, spring onions or green onions. This prop is actually a mini leek but it's from the same family and they're one of the most versatile crops to grow because they can be used like regular onions without having to wait as long. Yes the flavour is milder than most bulb onions but that is why they can be used in so many different ways. Seedlings emerge 10 to 14 days and time to picking 8 to 12 weeks and just like mustard spring onion or green onions are perfect in combination with other foods and are usually missed terribly when left out. Number eight, perpetual spinach, Swiss chard, or silver beet. All these crops are very similar, so that's why I've grouped them together. They are famous for being a quick growing pick and come again crop. Seedlings emerge 10 to 14 days and time to picking eight to 10 weeks. These are very hardy vegetable crops and are practically grow and forget without the need to successive sow or manage too much. Now here's a few bonus extra tips. Over sowing. Try over sowing your vegetable seeds and then using the thinned out plants as baby veggies. Sprouts. Grow sprouts for fast growing greens practically anywhere and get that fresh antioxidant hit in a sandwich or as a side right from your own kitchen. These fast growing vegetables will give you fresh nutritious food straight from your own garden without having to go out and buy them from the shops just for the sake of a few much needed greens you can easily grow at home. If you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big fast thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching, stay safe, bye for now.